All right, so here's an example. This is a very easy example. Find the sum of the measures of the interior angles of each convex polygon. So we're going to start with a hexagon. Okay, so we know that we have a formula for this. And it's just 180. Whoops, I don't like how I wrote that. 80 there, it's too close. 180 times n minus 2, where n is the number of sides. So in the case of a hexagon, n equals 6. So it's just going to be 180 times 6 minus 2, which is 180 times 4, which is just going to be 720. There you go. So the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a hexagon is 720 degrees. <clears throat> All right, next up is a dodecagon, okay? So again, I, you'll always hear me say this in videos, the first thing you should always do when you're solving a problem is write a formula if you remember it. Again, if you don't remember the formula we had talked about in a previous video, how you could just draw a dodecagon and figure out how many triangles there are and stuff. But for right now, we're just going to use the formula, okay? So it's 180 times n minus 2, so a dodecagon is a polygon with 12 sides. It's a 12-sided polygon, so it's just going to be 180 times... 12 minus 2, and this is great because it's going to end up being 180 times 10, which doesn't require too much thought. 1800 degrees. Perfect. Look at that. All right. And here we go. A 23 gone. So this is common, you know, anything after 12. Uh, they usually just call it, you know, like a 13 gun, a 14 gun, to my knowledge. I mean, maybe somebody came up with other ones, but I always told my students after 12, we just start writing the numbers. So a 23 gun just means it's a polygon with 23 sides. So again, if we want the sum of the measures of the interior angles, we're just going to do 180 times n minus 2. And in this case, n equals 23. Now, what you're seeing me do is the same process I always recommend you do for every problem. Formula first, and then write what you know, and then just substitute everything in. So it's just going to be 180 times 23 minus 2, which is going to be 180 times 21, which in this case is going to be 3,780. Okay, good. There you go. So hexagon 720, dodecagon 1800, 23 gun 3780.